If you like micro RC cars, we have a new edition. Diatone or Diatone Q25. It comes with an FPV camera and a goggle. And this goggle includes also DVR feature. Okay, let's start reviewing it. Well, in the box, we get the car itself with the SNT brand name. The VTX camera with four channel. This is the channel changing button. The car is real real drive. Shocks on the front wheels and there is no shocks on the back. The USB-C charging port on off button. And the remote controller, let's turn on the remote controller first. This is the power button and when you turn on, it vibrates. Maybe you are going to hear it. Let's start. Sorry. First, I would like to show you, I need to show you this. So, to open the battery compartment, yes, you need to slide this one and take this out. To activate the battery and when we open it we see a 18650 standard lithium ion battery it is nice that it is included but it is not nice that you cannot charge your battery lithium ion battery through the remote controller and there is no charger for it in the box actually in the user manual it shows there is a, a case for to use standard triple a batteries so when you put three triple a batteries in that case it has the same size of this lithium ion battery and you can use it but it doesn't include in the box so they need to include a charger for this one or they are going to need or they need to put that case into the box or you can have charger lipo charger i am lucky that i have it use this one separately okay battery in turn on see vibrates and to turn on the car press and it start working okay what buttons we have let me turn on the turn off the lights now we just have one light so this button look at this for high beam and low beam closed low beam high beam and also we have i want to call them like neon lights here red purple blue green light blue orange and turned off it is really cool that we have a vtx camera fpv camera on it but which is not cool that even if the goggle is turned off the camera turns off with the car and you cannot turn it off so it consumes more energy anyway the, the battery lasts about an hour even with the camera so i think it's quite enough but it would be awesome if i could you know just remove it but you cannot because it's plugged in under the uh, shell okay the car is rear wheel drive as i mentioned you what else we have we have a vtx button play button when you press this one it starts recording from the uh, goggle but actually it is better i mean I don't need this button because I have the record button on the goggles and I like to start recording before I start driving. And this multi-function button allows you to use your own remote controller because this car works with the FlySky procedure, procedures. The name was FlySky AHFTS or AF. HDS something like that I always forget that name 
Uh, so that works for that one. How it works? First, you turn on the car and wait for eight seconds. And after eight seconds, the car uh, gets into the binding mode. Then you open your remote control and choose the uh, fly sky procedure. That's all. Anything else? Yes, we have steering button. I mean, this is steering trim buttons. So power plus power minus means when you press this one, you have the hundred percent of output. You get the hundred percent of output from your throttle, and when you press this one, you get the seventy percent of output from your throttle. But even you reduce the throttle power, the gear. I mean, the slowest speed is really fast, so they need to gear down the car because you cannot, you know, move really slow. But on these tiny 176 cars, you can do that. The charging port for the car, it comes in the remote controller, this dangle. Then you put this here and plug your car. It also can be charged from there. You have a mount here, a mount hole, so you can mount your holders for your phone or for your FPV screen if you don't want to use a you know goggle. Okay, and we have a different angle here. It's for the right-handed people, so you can use it without touching your finger here. You, you can move your finger here freely. That's a nice feature. So this is all about the remote controller. What we have here is the FPV goggle charger and audio video output cable for the FPV goggle which is nice because it comes with two antennas. Nice to have, but both are standard antennas. I would like to have one of these as a lollipop type antenna. It also have a speaker. That's a good thing. This is the audio video. This is the audio video output port, micro USB charging port and your micro SD slot which is awesome because generally this kind of rc car kits comes with a fpv goggle without a dvr feature so which means you can plug in your sd card and you can record what you see through your fpv goggle and this is the record button one press start recording channel changing button band changing button anything else and the resolution is 800 by 480 pixels the ratio 16 divided by 9. Okay, let's keep going. Jumping ramps comes with the box. Nice to have because they are really strong and thick, so you can use this even with your bigger scale cars. I mean, when I say bigger, it's for 124 or one maximum 118 scale cars. Two chargers and a keychain here, and one of the chargers, actually both of them, from USB A to USB C. Some stickers with the car styling and your user manual. Okay, these are all we have in the box. These are the features. Actually, not these are these are not the features. Sorry, one more thing. So I need to show you this. Again, I don't remember if I show you at the beginning of this part. If I did, I'm going to delay this time, this part. Low beam, high beam, neon lights, different colors. And, but I'm sure I didn't show you this. Turning lights and backward lights. And when you release, you have the brake lights for just a few seconds. Look, backward, release, neutral position, and you have the brake lights. This is a cool feature. And let's see, let me 
turn on the powerful lights. Now I would like to show you how the FPV view looks. Turn on. See, instantly we get the FPV feed. And actually it's quite nice for this kind of an FPV camera and the FPV goggle. And when you press this one, it starts recording, but I didn't plug in the SD card here yet. I'm going to plug, in, plug it in while testing it and we will see how it performs. Okay, the car is ready. So I'm going to start recording on the FPV goggle. It is started. Let's see how it performs. Turbo Racing 176 scale monster truck and 164 scale Volkswagen T1 microbus. Okay, let's press it. MNRC 112 scale Mercedes Brabus RC crawler and 118 scale FMS Atlas 6x6 RC crawler, which is one of my favorites. 124 scale RC drift car, WPL1 16 scale RC Suzuki Kelly, which is an awesome car, 176 scale turbo racing Mini Cooper, and 176 scale again from the same brand Diatone karting car, which I think the karting version is better actually. It's really more easy to drive, and 118 scale FMS Toyota. FJ Cruiser RC car and 128 scale WL Toys 2841131 RC drift car which is a very nice car the latest version of WL Toys 128 scale RC drift cars so when you drive fast this is how it looks but if you would like to drive with the top speed it's really hard to control it. Let's see. So this is the top speed. See, it spins because of because these tires has really low grip. Anyway, if you would like to have a nice FPV RC car for indoors, this is one of your options, especially with it with its included FPV goggle with DVR feature. And if you would like to buy this one, I am going to put the link in the video description so you can check it from there. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.